us, them, win, lose, Funko! Hi, I'm Chris and welcome to Playing Games. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Let's roll. Funko is a classic competitive dice game that can be played with as few as two people and as many as 12, in some cases more. My Nana and I enjoyed Bunko so much, we put it in her cookbook, Clara's Kitchen. Need a set of rules? Just turn to page 31. Bunko! My Nana learned Bunko when she was in Chicago, where she played in Bunko tournaments. I'm gonna show you how to play casually, and there are a lot of groups around the country that play in tournaments. Just look a few up if you wanna play competitively. All you're gonna need are three dice, a pad of paper, and a Ticonderoga number two. That's a pencil. If you're playing competitively with a big group, you'll want a bell or something else loud for when you win. A tambourine works well if you're Sicilian. A game of Bunko is played in six rounds. A round ends when one player reaches 21 or more points. The player who wins the most rounds is the winner. If there is a tie for total rounds, add up the scores and whoever has the most overall points wins. And why six rounds? Well, there's a round for each side of the die. Six sides, six rounds. Bunko is a game of complete chance, so no skill is needed. On a piece of paper, you write us and them. If you have other players, you can come up with other names. If you would like an official playing games Bunko score sheet, I have a printable PDF linked right in the description below. You're welcome. The rules are super simple. On your turn, you roll all three dice. In round one, you wanna roll ones. If you roll a one, add one point to your score. If you roll two ones, add two points to your score. If you roll three of a kind of any number that's not a one, you get five points. If you roll all three ones, Bunko, you get 21 points and win instantly. The player who gets to 21 first continues to roll until they roll out. So it's possible to win a round with more than 21 points. If you don't roll a one or a three of a kind, your turn is over. Record any points won that round and hand the dice over to your opponent. Players roll all three dice on their turn, going for the round's indicated number. Again, round one, you want to roll ones. Round two, you want to roll twos. And round three, yes, you want to roll threes. And so on. You don't lose points if you roll out. This isn't past the pigs, but this is. After the final round, which is the round you roll for sixes, tally up how many wins you have. Whichever team or individual has the most is that game's winner. Again, if there's a tie, tally up all the points and whoever has the most points wins. Bungo can be played competitively and it's extremely chaotic since players will be speed playing. You also change seats and partners frequently throughout the games. If you learn this casual way first and play through it several times, you'll be better prepared for the church basement version. Just make sure you go with a friend who's been before. Bunko is a classic game, which means there are numerous house rules and variations. My Nana would play a solitary version, pitting herself against me and her other grandchildren. I'd often get calls from her upset that I beat her at Bunko while I was at school. But the game is just that fun, even if you're rolling the dice alone. And that's Bunko. Please subscribe, comment, and like to help this channel become a thing. Also help support the hard work that goes into these videos by digitally donating. You are great. See you next time on Playing Games. And what's this dice? It's not a dice, it's a die.